Hello everyone, my name is Zipron, welcome to another snapshot review. In today's episode we will talk about minecarts with TNT and the activator rail. As always, all feedback is much appreciated and thanks for watching, I hope you enjoy. So to start, I have the basic setup over here. Minecart with TNT and the activator rail will prime it and make it explode. Let's just watch it quickly. So, a few things you notice, the crater is much bigger than normal TNT. Um, I think it has also uh, something to do with the momentum the minecart has. I will show that in a second. Um, another important thing is that the blocks with the rail on top aren't destroyed. They will always stay um, intact, so that's pretty useful. You don't have to worry about your rails being blown away. Now the minecart is gone however and that's the way it should. Um, in some cases when the when the minecart with TNT is, f is primed with fire or lava it will um, give you the minecart back and the TNT. That's a bug and it will get fixed in the future. Now some behavior of the, of the TNT minecart is that you can destroy it while it's primed which is pretty useful because this way you have more safety when you are making explosions. Now, I, I think it's a pretty cool feature because imagine minecarts falling from the from the top of a building and you have to destroy as many uh, as you can. That, that's a pretty nice mini game concept, I think. And maybe someone will make it in the future. Another way you can prime the, the TNT is by riding it into fire and it will explode immediately like this. And as you can see here we have this the bug where the TNT and the minecart are um, given back. Also because it's primed by uh, fire and not by an activator rail it will destroy uh, the rails as you can see. Now as normal TNT it won't... oh <laughs> It won't um, damage when it's uh, it won't, well. It will deal damage, but it won't deal block damage when it's in water. So that's useful to know. Um, this is the one with momentum, especially downwards momentum. Um, Minecarts with TNT will explode if they fall on the ground with a certain um, speed called momentum. Now, I think the bigger the momentum, the bigger the crater. You can compare the two. This one is bigger than those. Um, so yeah, that, that's pretty useful because now you can basically make bigger explosions if you drop them from from a height. Now a last thing I want to show you is how you can use um, these minecarts to create a big explosion. As you can see they are stacked right now upon each other because they fall on the activator rail. Um, I've put five in there or something. Now I activate them all at once. And yeah, you notice it's it's a pretty large crater, which is useful I think, because with you can do this with five normal TNT, you would have to mine a lot um yourself. So yeah, that, that's a pretty useful technique if you want to blow away some some big chunks of area. Now, however, it d does cost five, five more ingots, so it, it's a bit more expensive. That's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching. If you liked, uh, I appreciate likes in the, in the video. They really help me out, guys, so see you next time.